Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And uh, currently right now, we've got all the most of the indices trading lower. The Dow is down by 223. The S&P's off 16. The Nasdaq 110 points. The Russell's off 16. The semis are the stubborn child. They're up 15 points. Trading out at 34.65. You got gold up 13 bucks. Silver's up 13 pennies. Light sweet crude is down 8 cents. So basically flat out there. Let's spend some time taking a look at our indices. I believe yesterday we looked at the s and P sectors and some of the index ETFs. Today, we're going to go ahead and change things up and uh, just, to, just to do something a little different. We're going to go take a look at our cash indices. We begin by taking a look at the Dow. That's in the upper left-hand corner. Don't let that bar number 8 of a TD9 count fool you. That's not the low of the pattern, so we're not going to have a valid TD9 count. Not yet. Not unless price is able to spike the low of a couple of days ago. That spike would be a spike below 34, 599, 61. If you get that, then you've got a whole different shenanigans out here. Now, it's possible that the uh, Dow is uh, targeting its TD9 breakout level of 33869.83. If you look at the S&P 500, the work to the downside could be over. Yesterday, this formed a TD9 count top and then push price right back to the breakout level. That was at 1450.29. The price did close below 1450.29. That would then be signaling to move back to 4408. But the work to the downside with, with regard to price pulling back to a breakout level, that is done. And on the 30 minute chart, it still has that Rhodes momentum indicator bottom or a TD9 count, it was a TD9 count bottom out there. So keep an eye on the ES mini. The NASDAQ 100, also a TD9, as well as a Rhodes momentum indicator top. This would suggest that price could pull back to 15140. I know somebody out there is saying, wait a minute, Steve-O, you can't say the work is done in the S&P, and it might move higher than the NASDAQ could move lower. Well, it could. Like, I'm giving you the price targets. And so the one to be watching would be the S&P 500, since that's the one that has made its way back to its breakout level. If that fails, that gives us important information. The Russell 2000, just trading uh, sideways. You can see that what it did earlier today was test and reject that green oscillator and change line that makes that 2249 level a key level if price closes above it trading above a green oscillator and change line has the semiconductor indexes that's bullish semiconductor still bullish bar number seven on the transports the VIX still trading above its 50 day exponential moving average a nice road front indicator bottom inside the XAU folks stay tuned for David White Polar the power trading hour that's coming up next have a terrific Tuesday thanks so much for joining us I'll see you again The reality is that navigating financial markets